Hi, this is Will Ruddick, and we're going to have a second edition here of the Village Market Simulator. Um, last time we talked about inequality and interest-bearing loans. Today we're going to talk about uh, import-export ratios and market volatility and the effect on local markets because of that. Um, so we've got a simulation here with a hundred uh, um, traders in a market. They're each businesses, sort of producer, consumers, prosumers that buy and sell locally, but they also import and export. And the amount they import and export varies throughout the year based on external market uh, factors. And the blue line you see there down here at the bottom um, is the, the relative amounts of those imports and exports throughout the year. Like December, there's a lot of exporting, a um, lot of money coming into the community because of exports, mostly exports of labor. Um, depends on the community and in January there's a lot of uh, import going on people are buying stuff from outside the community so uh, very quickly we're going to run this forward <coughs> sorry in the upper left here we have we've I've plotted all the the balances of each business around a circle just to look at comparative amounts of wealth in the community so this is a fairly equal community there's no uh, bankers here there's no interest bearing loans or anything like this it's just a very typical market maybe say a hundred years ago um, so as uh, time goes on, we can see in yellow plotted here the relative amount of trade throughout the year. So as there's more money in the system, people trade a bit more. Um, and as there's less money in the system, people trade a bit less. And the net effect over the entire year is that by the end of the year, there's a little bit less money in the system than we started with. So as we start the next year, we see it follows the same pattern. There's uh, a little bit of oscillation, then a big oscillation up in December, and then a big crash in January. Um, and again, each year a little bit of money uh, starts uh, leaving the system. Um, so what's happening here is that uh, this is a very uh, typical poverty trap, is that when there's more imports in a community, when people are buying more stuff from outside the community than they are able to get money coming in, over time there's just less and less money in the economy. And so the local economy which is dependent on this foreign money coming in, um, gets more and more stifled. So um, what we're going to do as sort of a, a solution to this is introduce a second currency. So this second currency um, is in some ways maybe you could say similar to uh, the Swiss not buying into the euro. They kept their Swiss franc so that they would have some more market stability and not be totally dependent on, on the euro. So on the top here is the national currency and the bottom uh, in blue is uh, community or local currency. Um, and as you can see there's still this sort of oscillatory effect. There's more money around December and less money around January and with the, the, cur with the community currency people don't use it as much when they have more of the national currency. So it's sort of counter-cyclic when one's up, the other's down. And as time goes on, um, there's less and less of the national currency in the system because it's leaking out. Um, the complementary currency or community currency uh, begins to really sort of stabilize the community um, when it's in these periods where they're not uh, able to, to export their goods or services. So this is just a really simple simulation to just show the effect of uh, and the power of a local currency. And this is why many countries want to have a currency in the first place, because it gives them a lever uh, or a knob to basically tune how much they, they want to favor importing and exporting in the community. Um, and this is why Switzerland, one of the reasons why Switzerland is one of the best economies in the world. Switzerland uh, um, also has a, a local currency called the, the weir that uh, has this sort of counter-cyclic effect as well. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Thanks. Bye.